Hey there, it's Rose from The Painted Toad, and it's Sunday night, and I haven't had a chance to create all day, so I thought I'd share with you this great little um, tear tray box that I ordered from uh, Holy Rustic, which is, um, they're down in New Salisbury, Indiana, and uh, so let me know if you're here, and say hi, and I'm going to get started painting this. So let me switch my camera around here for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a like a monthly subscription. It comes every week, or not every week. My gosh, I just said monthly. It comes every month, and it's um, different little pieces for a tiered tray. If you don't know what a tiered tray is, it's um, it's like a little miniature shelf with stacked layers. Um, and you can decorate them. You can do all sorts of cute things on them, like, you know, people with cupcakes and things like that. But for decorative purposes, it's fun um, to do these little tiered trade pieces. So I'm going to start with some black. And I'm just using regular acrylics for this. And the fun thing about the tiered trade club is you don't know what's coming. So it's kind of like a little surprise box. You know you're getting tiered trade pieces. Um, most of them are usually related to upcoming holidays and things like that. Um, but it's just it's just kind of a fun surprise every month to get this. So I'm excited because um, my October one should be coming. And I'm guessing, but I don't know for sure, it might be something cute for Thanksgiving. And it's not always easy to find Thanksgiving uh, decor. It's like they skip right over Thanksgiving. They go from summer to Halloween to Christmas and that usually happens like August September so <laughs> if you're not quick you're gonna miss something though this year um, the uh, because of all the shipment delays and things like that the um, like the craft stores have been a little bit late on putting out some of the things so I'm still going and finding like I went to Joanne Fabrics the other day and found a bunch of Halloween stuff that wasn't there several weeks ago. So they're still getting those in. And now everything's discounted because they're already moving on to the next holiday, which would be Christmas. They don't put a lot out for Thanksgiving. So they're into the Christmas holidays next. Okay. And I think it'd be super cute if she had little black shoes. And it's there's these teeny tiny little bows so adorable that can go on her shoes so I think that's cute I'm gonna paint these little shoes black so I mix that light purple with the light magenta and it gets it's kind of a really it doesn't show as well but it's it's kind of a really pretty purple so that'll be good and I'm gonna do that on the legs and then I'll coordinate this in some other ones as well Go. We got the little legs sticking out of here. And then I'm just going to look at some of my other pieces here because I'd like to incorporate this purple and some other things as well. I'm thinking it might be fun to do. Um, the little house here purple this little spooky house so I'm gonna take that purple I made and do that I think it And what else can I paint purple? I think I'll do some purple on this little sign. The reason why I'm doing all these purples first is because I did a special mixture and it is kind of hard to get the same tint or the same, I should say, the same tone that you got before. So I'm gonna just use it on as many different things as I can. So 
I'm just going to put this together, a little purple. Super cute. Okay. How is my paint? One thing that does happen with this is because um, of the surface here, it does want to soak in. So sometimes you have to do a couple layers. Scoop a little bit of the paint on there. And I am going to paint some little green bubbles from this witch's brew. Did they ever do that for you in kindergarten? Like, you'd go out, I remember doing this. We'd go out and we'd go in, like, the schoolyard and have to get leaves and sticks and, like, all sorts of random fall things. Maybe this was only, like, a Michigan thing. I don't know. And then the teacher would put it in this great big pot and like stir it up and then you'd go have lunch or something like that or go, you know, to your gym class or something. And then when you came back, it was a uh, witch's brew and it was like super tasty and it tasted a lot like apple cider. <laughs> but, you know, as a kid, you're like, oh my gosh, how did the teacher turn that into witch's brew? That or stone soup was another one I remember or the gingerbread man. I don't know how the gingerbread man like got out of the oven and everything. I was very, um, a very believing child. It always amazed me. There we go. Doing some green on these. I think this will be super cute with the fun bright colors. And what else here? I'm thinking I could do green for the coffin, which I think would be kind of cute to do. Um, she did a bit of an ombre effect with a darker green, but I'm going to do the brighter green, I think. I think I'll like that a little bit better. So I'm just going to paint this on here. That'll be super cute. Okay. So you can see on here, look at the little bubbles will go in there. So it'll look like oh, it's sticking to my finger. See, isn't that cute? It'll be a little witch's, witch's brew, though. I think she fell in the pot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's what she was supposed to do. Okie dokie. What else? We can do the little kitty cat here. This is cute. I'm going to do, I think I'll do a little black cat. I'm just going to darken it just a little bit. I'm going to put these two together and just mix them up. So I can get a real pretty bright orange tone. I just want it to be isn't that pretty? I think that's kind of a fight a fun bright color, a fight color. <laughs> I am tripping over my words tonight. Going in for the pumpkin. There's two teeny tiny little bows. Aren't those cute? Let me see if I can hold them up. So focus there. You can see them. They go on 
the witches um, on the top of her little shoes. Isn't that adorable? So I think I'm going to paint those. I'm thinking bright green because I was I was going to do some stripes on her leggings here. I did purple, but then I thought it'd be cute to do some maybe some orange stripes or black stripes or something or maybe both. So I'm going to do these little bows green. And you definitely want to get your fingers messy with all these little bits and pieces, but if you're not getting messy, then you're not having enough fun. All right, grab those little bits, and then I think I'll move on here to my little ghosty. Let's see here. And all of these have like, um, I don't know if you see these little pieces here. But they they fit in these and that way it'll stand up on its own so it's got these little stands that they're supposed to fit in and let me get some white i haven't used white yet usually i've already used white at this point and i'm coming in to do my little ghost my little ghosty I was going to do white next, and I'm going to use a small brush again, just because these webs are small and fine. And then there's some here on the little coffin. Let me flip that around. So I'm going to paint this. Oh, this is a bit wet. Soak that up. Sometimes I think the, the water kind of soaks down into the, the metal part that holds the bristles in place. Because you think your brush is dry and then you go back and it's like, not dry. I almost wonder too. I'm going to try. This is another technique um, my friend taught me. You use little makeup sponges and you can use those to kind of paint over these things too. So that might actually work. I might. There's a little web on that that looks so cute. You know what? I do have to paint the bottom of this because as I'm thinking about it, I'm going to be able to see through that. And you're going to see the bottom. Okay, so I got to paint the bottom of the bottom of what is this? The coffin. And then let me grab an ultra fine brush here. I'm just going to add some little details on the pot. Just going to do a little white line here to kind of make it look shiny. The details are the fun part in my opinion. And then on her shoes, I think it would be cute to do a little bit of shine on the shoes. Maybe a little, little shine there. And I was also going to take some white and add a little white to the stripes on the tights. That's really cute. I know it reminds me of um like from the Wizard of Oz, the little legs when they curl up under the the house. So I love that movie. It was always I know the monkeys always freak me out though. I've had my girls watch it once and they were like so scared we had to turn it off. They were a lot younger though. I think now they can handle it now that they're older. But uh, 
yeah, they were really creeped out by it. Oh, I was going to paint um, some little eyes on my kitty cat. So let's see. I'm doing some eyes here. Um, for this spooky house, I'm going to um, have a little fun with this. She painted some windows on the example, so I'm going to do some fun windows here. I'm going to do it with white first. I'm just using a flat brush. See how nice and even I can get that? I just use the brush to its advantage. That's its purpose. There we go. not too bad. I think that looks pretty good. Then the little shelf piece goes here and this is where the the numbers are supposed to go. Oh, I'm looking at this. Hold on. Let's take a closer look at this. See the little example there? This almost looks like it's supposed to be like a little doorknob, like this is a door. Huh, or a house. I'm not exactly sure. What do you think? Do you think it's a house or a door? I suppose I could make it either one. All right. I'll let that dry. I'm going to do a little bit of glue. I have some of this. She gave me some glue. The thing is, these don't really have a nice nozzle on them. Let me see what she gave me. I don't think that has a nice nozzle on it either. I'm just going to put a touch of glue on the back of each of these. And this is E6000. The, um, the stuff that I got this is the low odor version. And I'm actually going to have to get some of this paint off my fingers because everything is wanting to stick. Which isn't good when you're trying to place a teeny tiny piece here. Let's see if I can get it to place. There we go. Isn't that so adorable? <laughs> it's so cute. I get excited about little things like that. Um, you know, I can do my bubbles on here. I was going to do some paint on those bubbles, too. So let me just put a little bit of this glue on the back. And then my bubbles go right on top of here. My bubbling brew. Let me make sure. Oop, I think it goes the other way. Click, flip it around. I just want to make sure you got it on right before the glue dries. Yeah, that's that's better. So there's the little witch's brew. A little bit of white on the bubbles. I need to pop out Kitty's nose here. Not Kitty's nose, but pumpkin nose. So let me, there, just use a wooden skewer and we'll glue that onto Kitty Cat. Turned out. And then this little part is Kitty's hat. Little pumpkin hat. Sticks right on there. And then we can do a little detail on the kitty cat.
a little bit of detail work on these windows. I'm going to take, I'm just taking a skinny flat and I'm going to create some window panes here. I think maybe I'll do this little shelf orange then and it'll kind of match the top part there. The word boo on here. Get a little more white out. And I think that'll show up really nice. So can you see that okay? The stone B. Moves me down. All right, I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of this and we'll give it to our little ghost to hold. Oh, and maybe should have done black strings, but we'll see how it looks. It might be just fine. And the little ghosty is holding it just like this. It says, ooh, isn't that so cute there? And it's, you know, it's like 3D, you can see the dimensions. So cute. I'm going to use my liner brush again and just create some window panes here. Not a big, not a big worry. Okay, and let me do some of that orange back here. This little part that I had touched up, kind of bring that in there. It's not going to show up super crazy here. Once I get the little bones there, it'll be just fine. Let me glue the bones. Well, you know, I'm gonna let that dry. Let me let it dry and then I'll glue the bones. I'm gonna glue on the little bows here on her shoes. She's got some style on shoes here. Fancy, fancy. Just touching up the little coffin. I got a little white off from my ribs. And then I'm going to show you how this coffin goes together. It's so cute. Oops, wrong end of the skewer. So this is the base. Let me move this out of the way for a moment. And then each of these little side pieces glues in like this. So let me get a little bit of glue on these. I just wonder if I should have painted the inside. Well, maybe, maybe not. I can always paint it if I want to. I'm going to get a little bit of glue. And then hopefully these pieces will fit. Let's see if I can get them to fit. I'm not sure if it's specific for the actual, like, one way or the other. Oh, maybe. Let's see. Is that going to fit better? Or maybe it fits this way. 
Oh, <laughs> it fits the other way. <laughs> I guess, I guess this means, um, I'm going to have to repaint it. I'm going to have to paint the, I'll say, well, the bottom's painted. That's so funny. Oh, well, no big deal. I'll put the rest together and then I'll just paint over it. I should have done that to begin with, but I, I'll be honest, this is my first tier tray. So I didn't know how it was going to work out. There we go. Okay, that one, the outside is popping in. Let me see. No, I think it's going to go better the other way. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe it's just the holes themselves. So I got any professionals watching here? Am I doing this right? Pop it together. Oh yeah, that's a really tight fit. I don't even think that needs the glue. Okay, those go together like that. And then let's see how these fit. That doesn't seem to quite fit. I think these might be sized accordingly. I can see some differences here. This, does this one go? I think this one goes at the end, is my guess, because the other ones are sized a little bit differently. They're a little wider. So this one goes here. And then this. I think this one goes in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the true test will be if this all fits together. So let's see. Does all of this fit? Yeah, that seems to that seems to be lining up. Now can I just get all the pieces in here? Did I do it upside down again? Let me see. I might have done it upside down and didn't even know it. No, I think it's supposed to go like this. All right, here's here's the tricky part. It's getting the pieces to fit. There we go. Hmm. All right. I'll have to mess with that more later, but isn't that cute? And then you put the little numbers in here for the 31 days of October that go on this piece here. So very cute. I'll mess more with that later. <laughs> I'll see if I have to paint the parts that I missed. And then uh, let me put my little bones on here because that's dry now. So I'll get my little bones. Where did my glue go? And this piece goes along the bottom. I think that's most of it. Like this is for the, it goes on the little tassel thing. So I still have to paint that. And I'll have to paint these bases. So the, um, these little, like the kitty cat goes in here. So it's, it's, um, stands up for you. See how that works. I, so I'll have to paint that base. I'll do that, you know, later on. And then the little ghost, I think, goes in here. Um, one of these goes in there. I don't think anything, I don't think this doesn't have anything. This just kind of rests. It's just a little pot that rests. So, all right. And I got a couple more details here, but I will get to that. And what I'm going to do, let me um, switch my camera view here. So what I will do, there we go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll finish this um, probably tomorrow. And uh, I will post a picture of it on the Painted Toad so you can see how it turned out. So thanks for tuning in. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. And I'll see you later. Thanks so much. Bye.